So it started with her fitness journey of going from 300 pounds to lean and mean to building a million dollar business on TikTok. This interview with Jordan Levesque is absolutely incredible. It will inspire you and it'll give you insights on how you can crush it in any area of your life. If you attended Rankmakers Live, uh, you were quite entertained and educated uh, in that she rocked out a great presentation. But someone that has, you know, not just inspirationally, you know, lost uh, lost a lot of weight and has helped a lot of people, you know, do that as well. But also has just just crushed it on social media, in such a fun and unique way. I think you're you're really gonna really enjoy her. And she's got a couple things that she's gonna share. If you don't know her yet, you're going to fall in love with her. Please help me welcome Jordan Levesque. Jordan, how are you? Hi. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Look, I have my daughter's bracelets she made me. I totally forgot. <laughs> right. Looking great. Uh, Looking great. Thank you. thank you so much. It's so nice to be here. Okay, so guys, I'm going to take over Ray's live for one little second and say this. Like Ray said, this is going to be fun. You should probably tag your teens on this video. If you have teens, if you have anyone in this industry you know that wants to level up and wants to make more money on social media and know how to do things the right way, we have a super big surprise for you guys. It's a free, totally free access to a course at the end of this. You're going to want to stick around. You're going to want to get all your people on here. Amen. Amen. Uh, also, I just wanted to comment. Um, Iris is so cute. Oh, thanks. So cute. And I, I love she's hitting you with uh, the pregnancy questions and things. Yeah. Just, just super, super cute. Jeez. Toddlers are very funny. I'm six months pregnant right now. And my toddler like imitates me being pregnant. So she'll be like, my back hurts. I have a headache. <laughs> She's nice. like, the baby is doing it. I love kids. They're the most hilarious humans. <laughs> That's so cool. So yeah, let's let's just dive in. What um and then we'll we'll do a giveaway here here shortly. What kind of led you to having a breakthrough on social media? Okay, so oh my gosh, a lot. <laughs> a lot. I honestly, my whole life, I struggled with having like self-esteem. Like I was the kid who dropped out of speech class in high school, literally, because I couldn't talk to a group of like 15 teenagers for one minute. And so I was not naturally good at showing up on social media. You, know, you If you would have told me I'd be doing this type of training years ago, I would have laughed in your face because I was always the big kid growing up. I got up to 300 pounds at my heaviest. Like I did not have self-esteem or belief in myself. So I got to a place where I basically was just so unhappy that I had to make a change. I think people either, either are like forced to make a change because they're at rock bottom or they realize they keep going the way they're going. They're going to get to a place where they wouldn't want to live their life like that. And that's where I was. So I decided and I committed, right? Some of you might need to do that in your business or in other areas because decide means to cut off the alternative of any other possibility, right? Commit means to do until done. So I just decided I couldn't keep living like that. And I had no idea what I was doing, but I stood up, took a step, repeat, and I lost 155 pounds and became the trainer and nutritionist. And it was like shocking to me. Like I literally shocked myself with what I was capable of. Uh, and then I was like, okay, in what other areas of my life can I do that? Like in what other ways can I show up and, and like not think I can necessarily do it, but grow? And so that's when I found this industry, a friend from high school introduced me to it. I was training during the day and serving tables at night. And I was like, yes, yeah, sign me up. I was not skeptical because I was very open to like trying new things, even if they terrified me. And then I, I grew fast, but I was really bad at social media. So I was really bad. Like I was the person who would put up a post, like holding my special unicorn serum. And I was like, it's on sale. And it has this ingredient and this ingredient and it's patented and nobody cared. Like nobody cared. I would get pity likes from my mom, and my best friend. That was pretty much it. And so, and then I would also get blocked, like hashtag block party all the time. And so I just didn't realize there was a better way to do things until I started following people like Ray Hagan. I started following people like Brian Fryer, like John Melton, who were teaching the correct way to market on social media. And so I found referral marketing, which is 10 times my business. I found short form video, like about a little over a year ago, almost two years ago, which like 100 times my business. And so I've been teaching how to do it the right way. I've been, I teach network marketers now how to attract tons of ideal clients and teammates to them without being a spammy bubble. <laughs> but I sucked for a long time. So it's been quite a growth period for me. 
Yeah, no doubt. No doubt. Let's, I, I, I'll start it off. I'll do, I'll do the first giveaway. What should we pick? What do you want me to pick? You tell me. How, how about you guys? You should be tagging your people. You should be doing the Facebook fireworks. How about heart this video and then share this video and drop hashtag shared in the comments below. And then okay. we'll, maybe we'll do shout outs for shares if we see them, but also someone will win. We recently updated our social media book. Uh, so it's the uh, second edition now. And I just recorded that in the uh, studio as well. But I'll give away uh, to each person that I, I pick, I'll give away two copies, uh, oh. one for you, one for your teammate, and we will mail them out to you. So real copies, not not digital. And uh, and yeah, so heart heart the video, which I see some hearts, you know, coming in, share it and then uh, drop the hashtag share and we'll pick a couple, um, you know, to win that. Um, but yeah, keep 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 telling your story and I'm going to watch and then I'll announce here shortly. Well, I mean. I mean, the biggest thing that changed for me, the biggest thing that I learned was how to use proper marketing, right? So I don't know. A lot of people, I feel like they struggle with this. So if you're struggling right now on social media, you're like, there's crickets on your social media. I understand. Trust me, I understand. But a lot of the time it's because you're not coming from the right place. You're focusing on sales. Like people will sign up for this industry and all of a sudden they think that they put on like a sales hat and like be that traditional slimy car salesman type of person. Like, they're constantly pitching on their wall. So it's understanding the difference between marketing and sales. There is a huge difference. So sales is you're trying to persuade people. You're trying to convince people. You're telling people about all the benefits and the ingredients and it's patented and all these things. It's on sale and, and people don't care because if you go on Facebook right now, like after you watch this video, test this, you scroll on your timeline, literally every three posts, there is an advertisement. And I see people complaining about this all the time. They're like posting about, oh my God, there's all ads. I used to be able to see my friends, right? So if they are scrolling and they see your post and you're like, here's this product and it's wonderful and you should buy it. They hate advertisements. They kind of hate you like a little bit, Like you are going to get unfollowed. You're going to get blocked. You don't even know how many people have potentially unfollowed you when you're doing that. Cause that's what I did for so long. And uh, like my family and friends would ignore, would uh, avoid me at get togethers because I would try and convince all my family and friends to buy my stuff. So the difference between sales and marketing is marketing, you're basically communicating with people emotionally. You're talking about like the pain points, the struggles that you had, you're sharing stories. So that makes people want to ask for information. You're not pitching people, right? So it's understanding the difference between sales and marketing. That's the biggest mistake that most people are making is they're coming from a place of trying to sell their thing instead of what's in it for the other person. So right. that that's I think that was such a game changer when I really learned that and started using that in my marketing and in my so on my social media. Yeah, amen. Um, all right, so let me let me pick a couple winners here, and these are if you shared this, hearted it, and then drop the hashtag shared. You went. You're going to win two copies of our updated, recently updated uh, social media book. And exciting. so, what's that? That's exciting. Yeah. And so let's let's go with Becky Gray Stead. Becky Gray Stead, and we'll go with Bonnie May Derrett. I'm picking everyone with three names today, <laughs> and Karen Ann Fanara. Karen Ann Fanara. Okay, Jordan. So what if someone has been uh, Spamel Anderson and they've mm -hmm. been just pounding the BOGO Black Friday? They've been pounding the ingredients and the discounts and the everything. Like, do they just hang their head in shame? Do they close <laughs> down their account? Do they create an alias? Like, what, what does one do? They've been Go posting into, all sales oriented stuff. Go into witness protection. I'm just kidding. Right. <laughs> no, no, don't be embarrassed. Cause here's the thing is a lot of the time, I mean, I did this for years and mind you, I was, I still actually did see success. My business did still grow because I was hammering, hammering, hammering conversations on the back end, like a psychopath. So like you can see success marketing horribly, like you can, I'm proof, but you don't need to feel bad. It's just like a lot of times you're just doing what your uplines, uplines, upline, whoever has done. And you might see them getting a ton of engagement. So you think that it'll do well for you. But the thing is, most of the time, if you're seeing someone else's post and they're like really successful in their company, probably a lot of the people liking their posts are in that company, right? They're already sold on the thing. So it's not always a good gauge if someone is getting engagement. It's like if that engagement is coming from people who genuinely want information about what they have and they're not already part of it. So that's kind of how you can, that's a differentiator, I think, between when you're watching people. 
One thing you can do though, is you can follow people who are crushing it on social media and do have a ton of people coming to them asking for information. Those are the people who you want to learn from. And, and like I said, just be careful. Just be careful that the people you're following don't have like 20,000 followers all in their company. You know what I mean? Right. So you got to be careful with that. But you can learn from A lot of times what gets them engagement now is what the, is, is it isn't what helped them build that team. Yes. 100%. That's a good point, actually. That's a really good point, right? But so one of the things I do is I use a formula every time I'm talking about uh, the product or service, and I don't think you should be posting about it every single day. I really don't. I think that's too much. It's overkill. People are going to unfollow you. You have to be like a three-dimensional human. <laughs> you have to talk about the rest of your life. But when I talk about the product or the business, I do it the exact same way every single time. So I use a specific formula. This is the same one I've taught uh, with TikTok. Right. So for short form video, you can use this for any kind of post. So you can kind of create endless content if you use this. So here's what you need to do. You need to sit down and you need to make a list of all of the different pain points or struggles that you had before you found your product or your service. OK, so like what were the really hard things? And the more vulnerable you are, the more real it is, the better, because people are going to relate to that. So let's say you're in health and wellness like me. For me, it was like I was really, really unhappy. I hated myself. Yes, that's dark, but that's a real pain point for me. So all these pain points that you write down, think of as many as you can, these are going to be pieces of content later. Okay, so it's, it's super powerful and you can repurpose it and use it in a short form video. You can use it in a post. You can use it in, you know, on YouTube shorts or YouTube video. There's so many ways you can do it. So, and then you start from that. You start from the pain point or the problem you had before you found your product or service. Then you talk about like the result you got Okay, um, but you don't mention the product or the company name. So this is where curiosity marketing comes in. Why do we do this? I mean, Ray, you've taught about this, I feel like, because it starts conversation. If you're telling them, hey, this is the name of the product and this is the company, okay, they have there's no conversation to be had there. They can go to Google and they can sure. find a negative review from Karen with cats in Idaho and be like, I'm not interested. Because <laughs> but there are negative reviews about water on Google, like different water yeah. brands. So like Overrated. there's always someone. Yeah. So like you can't leave it up to Google. You want to keep the information out, but also it starts conversations because it creates a cognitive thirst because people don't have all the information. There's a gap between what they know and what they want to know. If when they read your post and they have that pain point too, they're going to be like me too. Right. And then you say, okay, so let me give you an example of a post. Okay. So it starts pain point solution and then call to action is optional, but that's the three point system you're going to use every time. So you might say something like, I'm going to be honest, my entire life, I hated what I saw in the mirror and I got up to 300 pounds of my heaviest, right? It doesn't have to be that extreme. It can be, I hated what I saw in the mirror and I had really low self-esteem. I had body image issues, like whatever is true for you, right? I used to break down in dressing rooms and cry. Like these are just examples of things that I personally struggled with. So you start from that. Then people who have that problem, you're like, me too. And good marketing makes people say me too, not so what? Like that's not relevant to me. Right. Okay. So then you can say the solution you found an extra credit bonus tip would be to basically overcome an objection in the post by talking about skepticism. So I might say, I'm going to be honest, I'm skeptical of pretty much all supplements because I think you can only lose weight by eating healthy. Like I might say that in the post because they're, cause I feel that way actually. But there are going to be people who are reading this and are like, yeah, but like, I, I bet you that doesn't work. Or I've seen a million other things like that. Or so you're overcoming their objection in the post. So again, they're like, yeah, me too. You still have them hooked, right? And then you share the result you got or the solution you found. So it might be like, uh, I'm, I was really skeptical. And then you could say, but I'm so glad that I tried this product my friend suggested. I've already lost X pounds. I'm already down X number of pant sizes. I already have a ton more energy, right? You can do a call to action if you want, not required because people will still ask, well, what is it? What are you doing? What is it that you're trying? Because if they have that problem and you have that solution, they'd be like, I need that solution. I have that problem. What is it? That's really good curiosity marketing because it gets people saying, what is it? So call to action could be though, I have some discounts if anyone's interested. I have some discount codes if anyone's interested, but then end with something like, but regardless, I'm just so grateful that I found something that's working for me. Or regardless, I'm just so grateful that I'm finally putting me first. People are going to want to tell you, good job. They're going to want to be like, that was hard to share. It's being vulnerable. Right. It's relatable. Like, 
And yep. then the people who have that problem are going to want to ask what it is. They're like, whoa, she's not pitching me. She's not trying to sell anything that increases curiosity and decreases resistance. So yep. it's, it's, it's so powerful when you learn how to market from that place and it's more authentic. It feels better anyway. Like we yeah. don't have to be that weird slimy salesperson. Amen. Yeah. And, and two, you know, two things there are actually a quote I used uh, this morning is from uh, Brene Brown. Vulnerability is not winning or losing. It's having the courage to show up and be seen when we have no control over the outcome. Vulnerability is not weakness. It's our greatest measure of courage. And, and that's what you're talking about, right? You're, you're yeah. talking about, you know, I, I remember there was a time where I was 255 pounds and, and I didn't, I didn't want to take my shirt off in front of my wife with a light on. I wanted that light off. I, I, I didn't, I didn't want anyone to see that. Um, and then number two is the concept that you described um, is that it's actually been tested and studied. So they, um, this company wanted to create a list of how to overcome objections and they studied the, the highest revenue salespeople in the country that sold consulting, like $100,000 packages and you know big, big dollars. And a guy named Neil Rackham documented this study. When they went out with the salespeople and sat by them and watched them sell, and they're trying to write an objections book, and they found that they just didn't get many objections. The reason is, is they cover them before their objections. Yeah. So what you're saying is, and this is, you'll see this in every good uh, trainer, really. And, and you see it in a lot of, you know, network marketing trainers that have been around the block. They'll say, I was the guy sitting in the back of the room, arms crossed. I said, this thing will never work. Right. They all say kind of the same thing. And whether they know why they say it or not, um, it's it's to in it's to intercept that existing yeah. thought in the audience's mind and say, hey, he's thinking just like I was just thinking. And and so very, very you know powerful what you're saying here. Giveaway. You want to do some giveaway. So what giveaway you want to do now? Um, well, <clears throat> well, this the net the giveaway I want to do actually comes with an exciting announcement. Should I share with them? Okay, guys, I will share with you something really exciting. <laughs> so listen, listen, we have something very exciting both for you and for your team. So you are welcome in advance. But Ray and I and a bunch of other amazing human beings, I don't know if you recognize any of these people. Uh, obviously, Ray Higgins is amazing. I don't know if you know Bob Heilig or like John Melton or Fraser Brooks, uh, Marina Simone. I mean, these people are legends. Tony and Sarah Zalecki, I could go on. There's 19 of them. But basically, they're the best network marketers on the planet Earth. <laughs> and we created this three-day social media sales summit. It is totally free right now, but it will not be free forever. So we are surprising you with free access for you and for your teams. So how about this? The first giveaway will be for cash. will be for any of you guys that grab a free spot inside of the summit. Ray will drop in the comments the link. And we'll also obviously edit the title and put it in here after the live. So you can go back to the caption and find it. But grab a spot inside the summit, your free spot, and then drop, I got my spot once you grab a spot, okay? Because it's free. So here's the way it works. It's three days, but it's not set dates. So you can sign up for it and you'll get access to day one right away. And then you only get access to each day's training of the three days for 24 hours. And then it goes away forever, which is kind of sad. So we also have something <laughs> for the people that are, that are very smart and don't want to be sad. And they're like, I'm busy. Like, what if my kid throws up? And then like, I forget to watch a training one day, right? So you can grab what's called the all access pass, which is basically where you get lifetime replays of all of the trainings and you get access to them all at once rather than having to wait each day for 24 hours. And so there's literally 18 trainings in here for me and all my six and seven figure friends on exactly how to crush social media to convert more sales and signups. So literally everything that's working right now short form video on TikTok, like Facebook groups, how to recruit on social media, all of the things, how to get more engagement on social media. We cover pretty much everything you can think of, but it's 18 trainings. When you grab the all access pass, you get an additional 18 trainings because I went to all of these humans and I said, excuse me, hold up. Can you please tell me what is your best script or your best post for social media that converts sales and signups like crazy? And they all did an extra training that would cost, like this would cost thousands of dollars and I just convinced them all to do it. I don't know how. They're very giving. So they gave you a whole extra training and like an example post or one of them gave 50 engagement posts, right? But Ray did an extra training where he talked about a script you can use for people on your team who are kind of like not listening and kind of like buckles. 
<laughs> like how you can yeah. handle that, which I feel like we all need. If you haven't come across that person, you will definitely need that. And then everyone who grabs All Access Pass also gets this beautiful workbook that they can print out, which is so pretty. So if you're so a visual cool. person and you're like, what did that person say? A lot of the trainings are actually right in the workbook and there's like a place for you to take notes and all that stuff. So I suggest that you grab the All Access Pass and then you can drop in the comments, I got All Access. You'll get 36 trainings instead of 18, lifetime replays, a workbook, and your own membership area with all that good stuff in it. And yeah. then I'll pick a winner for someone who grabs all access pass too. Yeah. And so the, uh, the link is at higdengroup.com forward slash free social summit. And, and I will tell you uh, if you've participated, because we've promoted uh, different things with you in the, in the past. And I will tell you, you know, you were like, uh, Hey, you know, we need you. We need your script video. I'm like, can't you use the last one I sent you? And you're like, no, <laughs> it's gotta be new. I'm like, dang. And so like, even if you've done this in the past, these are new trainings. And, and so I just, you know, wanted to share that, but yeah. Here's mm -hmm. what I'll do though. I can, we can keep the giveaway open that way. Okay. So then it's longer anyway. So if you're, you're at work right now, hello to replay viewer, right? We can pick other people. Like maybe we'll keep it open through, it's the third, maybe we'll keep it open through tonight or even tomorrow night. And then I'll pick a couple of winners. So those of you yeah. who grab a free spot drop, I signed up and those of you grab all access drop. I got all access, but like I said, make sure you get your teams in here for the free summit because we are going to start charging for it. It's super high value. My team yeah. that had to make the workbooks for this is like Jordan. This should be like $997. This is a lot And this is a lot of value. And I was like, I know I'm so sorry. Cause she had to make such a big workbook. <laughs> I was like, but I really want it to always be way, way, way more value yeah. than what you guys pay. So even the all access summit, if you upgrade to that, it's like under the price of dinner. It's like $47 or you can get it in two payments at $27. So it's very affordable for what you're getting. Yeah. Awesome. So um, I did see this question asked earlier and it was, what if you haven't been very consistent on social media? What would, what would you suggest? So, well, I mean, it's kind of, it's kind of hard. I mean, yes, you want to be consistent on social media. So you want to have like your bare minimum goals. So for example, I'm pregnant right now. Like there have been times where I'm just not feeling it. Like I'm a little sick for my toddler for like the sixth time in this pregnancy. Don't ever get pregnant in the winter, ladies. But anyway, um, there have been times where I'm just not totally feeling it, but I have my bare minimum things that I will do every single day, no matter what. And one of those is posting on Facebook, right? It's simple, but it's like, I will every single day show up and post on Facebook. And one thing you can do to make it easier to create content is like when you see, I don't think you should steal other people's posts. I don't think you should ever steal someone else's post and try and act like that's your words or that's coming from your mind. It's not, but you can get inspiration from other people's posts. So when I see people post something, I'm like, oh, like that is so good. Whether it's sharing a story or even just something funny in their life, I will save that post into, you can click the three little lines or the three little dots in the top right corner on Facebook, for example. You can do this on other platforms too, though. You can save posts. And I will save it into a collection titled Life Posts. Yes, you've got all access. Jeanette, good job. But if people have a good, really good post, I'm going to save it into that collection because when I need to get inspiration, I'm really not feeling like coming up with content, right? Because I am someone who I do come up with content each day. I don't plan it out ahead of time. I'm just, I just can't do that. A lot of people can. And if you can, great. But for me, I just do better off the cuff. So when I'm not feeling it, I will go to that collection and I'll look through posts to get ideas. And then I'll be like, how can I say That's that great. same type of thing in my words? You know what I mean? It's just a little time saver or a little hack. And, and also I'll look at my uh, memories every day and previous posts that I had, and I might reshare that post, but maybe with a different picture and slightly change it. Like I do that all the time and no one notices by a post that get really good engagement and, and that are a good story or and they're relevant today. I might take that, tweak it a little bit, throw up a different picture. And yeah, no one's ever been like, you're using the exact same post. I, I see other influencers do it all the time. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And, you know, just, you know, I've been a full-time marketer for, you know, 18 years. And you'll find that every, every major marketer, like marketer, marketer, um, they have swipe files. And, and so they'll they'll find copy that they like or ads that they like, they'll find images that they like, words that they like, and just 
you know, have them in a file that, you know, that you go through. And another, another, you know, idea is sometimes I'll see a short reel that I had, I think makes a great point. And, but I haven't seen anyone type that point out. And sometimes I'll point, I'll type that point out. I saw a video the other day. And, uh, and so sometimes it's just like, you know, if you see a great text write up, maybe make that into a short reel. If you see a short reel, maybe make that into a text write up, you know? And so just, you know, switch it up. Different, different people will, will see that. And I found that, you know, giving credit never hurts you. Like yeah. you know, me mentioning Brene Brown's, you know, vulnerability quote, um, you know, was, you know, she deserves it and it's great. And no one's like, can't believe he's using other people's quotes. Right. Like, <laughs> you know, no one cares, you know, they, they appreciate that. Uh, awesome. And so again, if you want the, uh, the free social summit, higdengroup.com forward slash free social summit, I did put it on the, the screen, make it nice and easy. Um, and then if you want the all access pass, or you're not rushed to make sure you go through all the recordings before they go away. Um, and also know that the free social summit is, uh, not free forever. And so I would at bare minimum grab your spot. Why wouldn't you? Um, any other words of wisdom, my friend Jordan? Well, I'll say two things. Number one, if also if there's anyone on this video and you guys have like a big team and you would want me to do a team training, I can plug raise content into it, but I could do a team training for your team. Feel free to reach out to me. Say you found me from raise live. And we can set that up because I do have trainings nice. that I can do and then we can give your team free access. So feel free to reach out to me, message me because I don't want to not see your comment. You can drop in the comments too, but reach out and just say, hey, I saw you on Raise Live. I'd love for you to do a training for my team before the free summit goes away. And I can do that. But as far as like guidance, here's what I'm going to say. You have to get out of your own way. Like you, as John Melton always says, your ego is not your amigo. Okay. Like, so a big reason why people don't show up on social media, maybe in new ways or try new things like short form video. I hear so many people, cause that's my jam to teach about that. Cause I went from, you know, 700 followers to 1.1 million in, in 10 months. And I was terrified of TikTok. And I was like, I dance like a white dad at barbecue. I'm too awkward. And then that happened. So, but I got out of my own way. And I looked really stupid for a while and I failed forward and you have to be willing to suck at something long enough to get good at it. Like, I get it. Maybe you have success in one area. So you're like, I don't need to do short form video. I don't need to do this other thing. I don't need to do this sales summit because I'm already crushing it. But like leaders are learners. You should always, always be trying new things that scare you a little bit or else you're not growing. And also you're not in the field doing the things you want your team to be doing because monkey see monkey do. So like you got to get out of your own way and be willing to look stupid <laughs> so that you can eventually get good. Eventually not look stupid yeah. and eventually then you can maybe teach other people too. So that's my best advice is you just got to get out of your own way. Love it. Absolutely. Stop waiting to feel like doing it Yes. and just get uncomfortable. And, and so just great advice. Awesome stuff. If you want more, grab your free spot, higdengroup.com forward slash free social summit. And, uh, and, and if you really appreciate six, you know, six month prego here, uh, Ms. <laughs> Gordon, if you really appreciate her coming out here and hopefully she gets a nap in sometime, you know, today, take it easy. <laughs> I don't know if she will or not, but if you appreciate her, drop her some love, give her some comments. I just really appreciate you coming out here. I know that you're going to help a lot of people and we just always, we always love promoting your stuff because I know how helpful it is to people. Right. I appreciate you so much. I think I speak for everyone. We say that we're so grateful for what you do for the industry because you're teaching people how to do it the right way. Mm -hmm. You, you are a perfect example of always leading from the front, leading by example, like you're willing to look stupid. Right. And everyone else learns from that. <laughs> well, I mean, come on, like everyone else learns from that because it's like, it's so cool to see someone who you look up to doing new things and failing forward and sharing the process. And you're such a good example of that. So mm -hmm. I'm very grateful for you. And then we get to do oh. fun stuff like this together. And, and yes. I don't know if I'll take a nap, but I will go sit for a while. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> awesome. Well, Jordan Levesque, everyone, give her some love. Check out our free summit. I know you'll like it. And uh, feel free to share this in your team groups if you want. Uh, feel free to tag a teammate. Congrats on making it to the end of the video. I hope you got massive value from this. Feel free to subscribe. And I would highly suggest that you click that little bell bing, so that you're notified as we upload new and free content. Feel free to share this with someone that you think could benefit from it. 
and just know that we really, really appreciate you. Feel free to check out the description for any kind of links or additional notes, and I hope to see you in the next video.